we we grew up with uh with family members that you know who we were around a lot of good music growing up a lot of uh Oh, is, that's the fourth a band member. Here we go. Hello, sir. Say hi, Kitty. This is Bella. <laughs> Hello, sir. Uh-oh. Don't hang up the Don't call. Hang up the call, please. Bella. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, we just grew up with like a, a lot of great music from family members, you know, records from the 60s, 50s, 70s, 80s. Um, everything from, I think, a lot on you. Oh. A lot on your side was a lot of rock music. Yeah, classic rock going on Yeah, as well. got stuck in the car with my dad listening to Led Zeppelin and King Crimson. So, and uh, I think my grandpa would play a lot of uh, old classical like French music. French music That's and what we're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just play like a bit of everything, and it just really kind of meshed yeah. into one. And we, I think, I think when we hit like our, our teenage years, like um, like fourteen, fifteen, we really started to dive into like. Um, the hip hop and R&B culture as well, because we'd been listen- we grew up in Australia. We've been listening to a lot of bands, and then we kind of explored a little more, and and, and we we found that we we were re- we were really fell in love with it very very quickly, with, yeah. with the sounds, the elements, the production. I mean, artists like Travis Scott, mm-hmm. artists like The Weeknd, yeah, uh, just like there's so many incredible artists that you just keep hearing coming out. We got Nav, like all these people who produce their own records as well. You know what I mean? That was big for us as well, like finding out that a lot of these guys were doing it themselves because we weren't sure if we were kind of like the only ones that were yeah. doing it. Obviously, there's lots of artists out there that did it, but it was nice to be like, damn, these yeah. guys, their records sound so big and so good and they're yeah. just doing it themselves. And so we, we kind of took um, we took what we'd learned be- like prior to kind of discovering our love for hip-hop and R&B. We took everything we learned from the other side and kind of mesh the two together brought in the best of both worlds you know what i mean all of them except for what two we're done yeah yeah two, two three and three. some of them you did you like please stand by you produced a while ago yeah yeah well, like yeah yeah so um molly uh just came about one night we had this instrumental we wanted to use um that we just produced and then we kind of just hopped in the booth and then the whole the whole chorus itself we kind of we, we like to like run a few takes, just freestyle to try and find a vibe, you know what I mean? And then um, the chorus came along and then we kind of just freestyled that and then it, it, it sounded like really, really sweet. And so we just had to kind of like hone in on the theme and kind of pay attention to detail a little more. And then we ended up making the song, it's like a double entendre, as I say, right? Double entendre. So it's kind of about a girl, but it could also be about a substance as well. And it's a, uh, it's it's very, it's in, in a lot of ways, it's very real to um, our our lives as well. It's not it's not just a, a fantasy story. I mean, like you, sometimes if you get into a relationship with a bad person, you know you have to cut it off, you have to end it. Or if you get into a relationship with a substance that you know is going to lead down a bad path, you have to cut that off as well. You cut ties. And then out the roof is just fucking lit. <laughs> That was just uh, coming back, coming back at your hard, you know. That, that whole thing, we just recorded that one night and then shot the music video the next day. Like, we, yeah. we didn't even... We were like, this is this is our big... Yeah, that was big, strong, in-your-face song, we're we back. Just, yeah, we just went in the booth one night and finished it. 